they have in the past. Now, look, James, um, you, stepping sideways into Coel, upwards actually into Queensland politics, you are currently campaigning in the upcoming Queensland state election for the seat of Keppel. It's a very, very exciting time. The election is weeks away. So what is the latest on the campaign trail? Well, here in Queensland, we've been suffering, as you're well aware, nine years of the Labor government. They've ruled this state for more time than anyone within a Conservative Party has. And over that time, we've seen just the place go to hell in a handbasket, particularly in the areas of health and youth crime. I know here in central Queensland, where I am, we've got two hospitals here, one being the Rocky Base and the other being the Yapoon Hospital. Um, Yapoon... I love the nurses there, they do all the best they can for you, but it's really not much better than a place you go for cuts and bruises. Uh, the waiting times are blown out, you're sitting in excess of six hours in triage before you're even looked at, and if they can treat you, often what happens is it's for the minor stuff, otherwise they've got to cart you off in an ambulance off to Rocky. Uh, we're at capacity in Rockhampton, We've, I, you know, I was invited by a family whose father had been put into the emergency room He'd been there for six days, six days in the hallway of emergency, not given a bed within the ward. We've got a massive problem with aged care, what's happening in this neck of the woods. Because we've got a shortage of aged care, they're ending up in the hospital system. Therefore, we don't have the room on the wards anymore. And we've got these patient to nurse ratios, which are four to one, so four patients to every one nurse. And once those wards are full, or, you know, if a nurse is away sick, what they tend to do is they try and discharge people from the hospital. So we've got hospitals here in CQ that are at absolute capacity. It's creating enormous problems. Uh, I'll tell you about your poon. You can't have a baby there anymore. You've got more chance of having a baby in the backseat of an ambulance or your own car rather than being able to have it in the hospital there. Uh, you can't get an X-ray after 5 o'clock and weekends, you're buggered. Uh, so any parents out there whose kids fall off the trampoline, all uh, again have to go into Rocky. Uh, there's no theatre here, so you can't do any basic operations. It's really failing on the health front, particularly the more regional you go in this state. And of course, youth crime continues to rear its head, particularly during school holidays. But as we see more and more kids taken into state care or become wards of the state, uh, we've got over 11,000 of those kids now whose parents have clearly failed them and the state's now responsible for them, well, they tend to be the kids in a lot of trouble uh, throughout the state. So uh, juvenile crime's another big issue. Um, even our agriculture sector here, I had a meeting today with a farmer who's paying $5 a kilolitre for water to grow hydroponic lettuce. Yeah. Now that's just, no wonder, no wonder our grocery bill prices continue to go up. And uh, so meeting those sorts of uh, people uh, along the, the way in the campaign has been really interesting. And, of course, Great Keppel Island still remains a thorn in the side of the state government. There's a massive native title claim over that area, uh, and still they've not responded to the native title claim or the federal court itself. So they're just a couple of the things that I'm working on in this seat of Keppel, and obviously the problems are very far-reaching and individual the further north you go and further regional you go in Queensland. Mm, yeah, and look, those, all of that is, is very concerning, um, but those health concerns you raise are, are really upsetting. I mean, imagine, you know, being heavily pregnant as a woman and not able to rely on having your hospital close by, you know, having, having, to, having to trek somewhere else. That's, that's just awful. Um, look, just before we go, um, what do you think the solution is then for Keppel on the health front? Well, there's a couple of things that we've got to do. Uh, certainly tax incentives could be looked at both from a state and federal uh, side of politics. Uh, that is definitely one big thing that the federal government can apply some pressure or, or some changes. Uh, but also, too, I think there needs to be a real campaign to show nurses, uh, doctors, specialists, in particular the partners of those people, how great a lifestyle you can have when you go into regional parts of this country. Uh, we're warm, open communities who are dying for the, the skill sets that you might have as a nurse or a 
a theatre specialist or um, oncologist, whatever your trade might be in the medical profession, we need you in regional parts. We don't want you flying in and flying out. We'd love you to be a part of our community. And as you can see behind me, we've got beautiful beaches here. Uh, we've got islands just nine kilometres off the beach, which have got some of the, the best fishing grounds and best jet ski weather. And uh, I, I just think there's so much to offer, particularly if you're a young medical professional. Mm. I think the message needs to be put out there by our state government to get these people to go, hey, there's a better life if we head further north or yeah. into other regional parts of our state. Mm. I think that's an excellent message, James, and I wish you all the very, very best. You know I do with your campaign. All the very best with it indeed. Thank you so much for coming on the show this evening, and we will touch base again soon. Thanks, Daisy.